Welcome to this week's episode of Building a WordPress Theme with Talented Underscores. Today we're going to finish up with the customizer. We're going to wire up our links to the social networks using really cool social network icons built with SVG. And we're also going to look at the Tailwind config directive. So let's get started. So we're going to start today by adding the icons of our three social networks to the header here. I want to put it just below this uh, description. So we'll have our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'd also like to scroll down here and put the same icons with links at the bottom of our footer. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some icons. Uh, I found this uh, GitHub repository by Edent. It's called Super Tiny Icons. I'll put a link in the description of the video in case you guys want to use it and follow along. Now, this uh, repository has a bunch of SVG icons that we can use. And SVGs are great because they're very small and very scalable. Uh, so if you look down here at an example, like the GitHub icon as a PNG is uh, almost 3 kilobytes, but the SVG is half a kilobyte. So it's much smaller, but still has just as good a resolution, so it's much faster to load. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our images. So let's go into Images, SVG, let's see here, we want Facebook, we're going to need Instagram, and we're going to need... Where is it? Twitter. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our raw. Here's our SVG code. So we're going to put it in the header. So let's go over to our site, into our theme folder, header PHP. So let's see here. We have our head section, we have our logo, and then we have our section with the blog name and the description. So we want to keep it in that same section here. So inside this div, let's just make a new div, and this will hold our icons, and let's just paste it in there. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. All right, so there's our icon. Uh, the great thing about SVG is we'll be able to color it and make it match our theme color once we get all these in here. Let's go ahead and grab the other two icons. So let's grab our Facebook icon. Let's go raw, and let's copy everything and right in here we will paste in the Facebook and then we'll also grab our Instagram go raw copy and paste alright so there's our three icons now before we start styling them and making them much smaller because obviously they're way too big um, this to me is ugly. I hate having all this SVG code stuck in this file here. So let's, uh, let's refactor this a little bit. So I'm going to grab all of the SVG code here. I'm going to cut it out. And I would like to basically have a place here where we can say, you know, get our SVGs and plop them right in here. So let's take the SVG code and let's go into our ink folder. I'm going to make a new file here. We'll call it um, social icon or social icon links. How about that? Plop them in there. All right. So let's go back to our header. And let's go into PHP. And let's just require. We will get the style sheet directory. And so from the style sheet, which is our style.scss or style. CSS file which is down here. So we're in this directory. We want to go into ink and grab social icon links. So style sheet directory slash ink social icon links.php. And let's make sure we have the same thing. All right, so that works. So this will make it easy for us to go ahead and just put them in the footer as well without having to copy and paste all the SVG code. And then if later you change the SVG code, you're going to have to remember to go to both places and change it. Uh, now with this, we can just go to social icon links, and we have one place that we can modify this. Uh, if we want to add another different social network in here, we can easily do so. Now we want to style these. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap these in a div with a class called social icons. Move this to the bottom format everything 
and ignore all the squigglies. PHP, PHP Storm hates SVGs for some reason. So let's go into our SAS folder, our components, and let's make a new file. And we'll call this um, social icons. How about that? All right, so let's go into style.scss. We will import it. All right, so let's begin. Uh, we have our div of social icons, so class social icons. And in here we have an SVG. So we want all of our SVG to be the same width and height uh, so let's just go ahead and set it to maybe 60 pixels. All right, so that's better. Um, we can make them smaller. Let's go into our SVG here. We do half that size. Let's do 30. I think that's decent. Maybe 34. All right, that looks good. So now we want to make all the colors the same just to make it fit well with our theme. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. The uh, SVGs are cool because we can modify them with CSS. Uh, so let's see here. Inside the Twitter, we have a rectangle. And then we have our path, which is the little bird shape. Um, inside Facebook, we have the same thing with a rectangle that is set to the darker blue. And then in the last one, we also have a rectangle which is set to this uh, pink color. So we want to change the fill color of the rectangles. So inside our SVG, we have a rect. And we want to set the, uh, the fill. And just to make sure this is working, let's set it to green. Go ahead and save that. And there you go. That's a way to make them all look the same. Now we want them to be maybe the teal color, but right now the teal is only set in the tailwind.js configuration file. Now we could just uh, you know copy and paste this into our SCSS file, and that works. But what if later we come back and we want to change teal? We're probably going to forget that we set this in the social icon SAS file here. So what we can do is we can use a directive of Tailwind and we can say config and inside here we can specify what exactly we want. We want inside this colors object the teal color. So we'll just go in here do a quote and just say colors dot teal. Go ahead and refresh and we get the same exact thing. This way, if we go into our tailwind.js file and change this, these colors will be updated automatically to match the new theme colors. Next up, we want to be able to click these and go to the link that the user specified. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back into our social icons file inside ink, social icon links. So we're going to want to wrap each one of these in a hyperlink. So hyperlink here. Let's just start with uh, the first one to begin with, the Twitter. And where are we going to go with Twitter? So that's going to be where the user saved their settings. So let's go back to our customizer file that we worked on last episode. And we had a setting here called Tailwind Twitter. So let's grab that. The link that we're going to put here um, is, let's just uh, print it out real quick. We do an h1 here. Let's go into PHP. Let's uh, get theme mod and then just paste in Tailwind Twitter. And we want to echo that out to the front end. Refresh this. And that's what we have in there. So if we go to customize, we go to the social icons, Go ahead and clear these out, and I can say http twitter.com slash Chris J Perko. You see it update there. All right, let's go ahead and save that. So let's get rid of this H1. 
and cut this out and put it inside the href attribute. Let's uh, clean this up some. All right, so let's check it out. Now the uh, Twitter link will go right to my profile. Let's also uh, t set the target to blank. So that way when you click it, it'll open in a new tab. Oops, let me refresh the page. Now it opens in a new tab. So let's go ahead and do this for the others. So go in here, change this to a hyperlink. And this is Tailwind Facebook. And then copy one more time. And this is target Instagram. All right, so now these go to uh, the link that the user specified. However, right now, we've only specified links for Twitter. And Facebook and Instagram, we haven't specified anything. So in this case, we want to hide those icons when nothing has been specified. So let's go back to our PHP. And this is another good reason to have this in a separate file so that we don't have to do this in multiple places in our code. Let's go into PHP, and we're going to say if, and we're going to get theme mod tailwind twitter if this is not equal to a blank string then we're going to do this hyperlink with the SVG and let's end our if so let's copy that put it here this one is tailwind Facebook and then again here with Instagram Alright, so now they will only be put into our HTML when that theme mod has been set. So if I refresh this page, you can see only the Twitter icon is there. If we go to here and we just say facebook.com, I don't remember my username, now it shows up. Instagram, same thing. It shows up. If we remove the Twitter, it disappears. We can publish, go back here. As you can see, it doesn't exist. Let's put that back real quick. Go ahead and hit publish. And now we've got our Twitter link. All right, so let's just go back to our header file one more time. Let's add a class here of margin top two, just to give us a little bit of spacing. Perfect. Now when we hover, I'd like to do a little bit of a transition real quick. So let's go back to our SAS, components, social icons. Let's say when we hover on an SVG, let's do a transform scale of just 1.1. Um, I'll put a link to the transformation video that I did as part of the web animation series. Let's do a transition of uh, transform, maybe 200 milliseconds, ease in, out. There we go. Now they pop out a little bit. Now let's go ahead and put these in the footer as well. Let's go down to the footer. Let's go back to our header file real quick, and let's grab this piece of code here that's grabbing that all of our social icons. Now let's go to our footer file. Here it is. All right, so in our footer we have a footer and then we have our site info with our links to WordPress, the theme name, um, all this stuff right here. So maybe below the site info, let's do a, another div and plop in our social icons. All right, now I like them to be below here. The reason why it's beside is because our flex box here is doing a flex row. If we go in here and say flex column, that'll put them where I want them. 
Let's make that change. Perfect. Now the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to change the color. So let's go back into SAS, Components, Social Icons. Now let's say if we're in the footer, we have Social Icons. Let's do SVG Rect. Let's do a fill color of black. There we go. Now that stands out quite a bit. We can go back to our footer and let's just add a bit of margin top. There we go. We got it on the header and the footer. Now we can go into the customizer and since we did this in a separate file, if we go to our social icons and let's say we remove our Twitter, yeah, it removes it from the footer as well. Super easy. And that's it for this week's episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Until next time.